This is Mike Gidding from Third Eye Geoscience. I run a course on seismic interpretation using the Petrel Suite, and we focus on interpreting in the 3D window. One of the common complaints I hear from people migrating from the interpretation window as their primary canvas for interpreting is that editing faults in the 3D window is difficult. And there is a grain of truth to this, but I want to show you that there are a number of ways to fix the less than perfect fault that you should consider. So let's start by picking a fault. And we'll pick it badly. And so the first thing we want to do is try and fix that. And the interpretation window people will always try and move these two points with the edit tool. So let's see how that works. You can get to the edit tool by using this tool icon, or you can press E on the keyboard. And when you do that, and click on one of these points, you get this funny looking feature here, which has got two components. It's got a square part, which I call the tile, and a middle part, which I call the post. What you want to make sure is to grab the tile, because then you will move the point in the plane. And you can move that to wherever you want. And if you click on the next one, you can do the same thing. And to finish, we press F. And then to release this fault from the editing process, we'll press N. You might even want to tidy that up by getting rid of that point there. Make that nice. So that's one way you can do things. But that can be cumbersome. And it's very slow. And I almost never use the edit tool for fixing my faults. Instead, the quickest thing to do is to just delete that stick and pick it again. And the quickest way to delete it is by selecting it. So let's learn a little bit about the selection tools. The selection tools sit in here. There's a paintbrush, polygon, a bounding box, and a single point. I use the bounding box a lot because I can get to it by just pressing B on the keyboard, but you could also click on the paintbrush, and then you paint over part of that stick, and it will turn gold. Gold means that it's selected. If I paint in the background, it's unselected. Instead, maybe I'm going to press B, and I've got the bounding box. Then you just need to draw the box through part of that stick. And again, it's selected. Once it's selected, you can press F to get back into fault interpretation. And then, if you hold down the Shift key, you'll be able to extend that fault at either end, or put additional points in the middle. And to finish, we just press N, and our fault's finished. Another way that we can use the selection key is to just hit B, delete the stick by using the delete key on the keyboard, and then just picking the fault again. Press F, and away we go. Say I finish there and then realize, that, oh, this fault goes the whole way down to the synthetic fault here. So instead of extending that by selecting it and then uh, pressing F, and holding the shift key, we can, in fact, just draw another stick in here. And then again, using the, the, the selection tools, bounding box in this case, B, I can select both of those and then either click on this join selected segments or just press J on the keyboard. And, joins, and that joins the two segments and you have a perfect fault. So the purpose of this video is to try and convince people that interpreting faults in the 3D window is not difficult. Even if you do need to make some small changes, then there are a number of ways that we can do that without having to invoke the edit tools, which can be a bit cumbersome. So I hope that helps, and I hope it gets people interpreting in the 3D window with a little bit more confidence. Please get in touch if you have any training requirements for seismic interpretation in Petrel, and I look forward to seeing you for the next video.